Hey everyone, so glad you made it back on your mat. My name is Natty and I welcome you to my channel. If you love this channel, please don't forget to subscribe and to let anybody know about it. Just make sure you have your blocks, your belt, um, a blanket and maybe a bolster or anything you may need for your practice and make sure you get into something comfy. So I'll see you on your mat. Aloha. Time for a little self-love. So in our practice today, we're gonna to focus on Anahata Chakra, the heart chakra, where we're going to be really focusing more on the chest, opening the heart, the shoulders, and the upper back. So just make sure you have your blanket, your blocks, your belt, and a bolster or, or pillows, anything that might help you support yourself in your yin yoga practice. So, so glad you made it onto your mat. We'll just start in a seated pose here. So just in Sukhasana, you can sit on a folded blanket right at the edge of the blanket. So you can just place it right under your hips, sit right at the edge and, and allow your legs to fall forward and your hips to tilt forward and your chest and the front line of your body to elevate here, lengthening the back, lengthening the spine and bringing your chin level with the mat, lengthening the back of the neck and just place your hands just gently on your thighs. You can have the, the palms facing up in a rece receiving posture or you can have them facing down if that's more comfortable for you. You also have the choice here to keep your eyes opened, gazing at the floor, or just having them gently closed. And we're just going to notice our, our seat here, feeling our sit bones rooted down into the mat, into our blankets rooted down into the earth beneath us. Recognizing that from the beginning of our practice, the universe is holding us in her hands and we are part of this planet. We are part of this global transformation that is happening and we can embrace ourselves in whatever moment we're in and whatever we're feeling and where we're at in our lives, in our journeys, and that it's okay to let go in this moment right now to create a deeper opening for receiving love from ourselves and from everyone and everything around us. And just notice how you're feeling from your feet all the way up through the front line of the body, sending your attention up through the chest, right between the breasts, the breastbone, running up your throat, all the way up into your third eye area, to the top of the head, the crown of the head. And notice your breath. How have you been breathing today? How are you feeling today? Notice your shoulders. If you're holding your shoulders up towards your ears, maybe roll them back and down really slowly and attentively, feeling every part of the circles you're creating with your shoulders. And then notice if you're Eyes are closed. Notice if you're holding them shut tightly, release the grip 
in your eyes. Release the forehead, the eyebrows. Part the jaw, part the teeth. Allow the jaw to relax. So Anahata is our heart chakra. And without even using the term chakra, we all have this space right behind the sternum that is housing a heart, heart center. This precious heart life force energy that allows us to deepen our compassion and our empathy and get in touch with the gentleness of life and the giving and the gratitude. Everything is connected to the root of our essence and our, our love. Let's try and hone in on this love we have in us and we're fostering and we're growing this love that we're harnessing and giving back. And the truth in all of this is that we are already love long before we were ever born. Keep relaxing chest, relax your legs, your knees, your throat. Take a deep breath in here. Gently let it out through the nose. Do that again. One more time, lengthening inhalation and exhalation. Filling up all the way at the top. And let it out. Emptying all the way at the bottom. One more time. Slowing it down. Just gently open your eyes and we'll get ready for a supported fish pose. So you can have your blanket on you for this pose. Um, you can take your bolster lengthwise and lay on your bolster or you can have your blocks with you and the one that's behind the back is on the lengthened side and the one that goes underneath your head is on the lowest setting just to support your head here and you can set up your blanket and here you have options you can come directly with your legs straight out or you can have your, your, the soles of your feet together in Supta Baddha Konasana. Or you can have the soles of the feet staying on the mat. But what we'll do first is we're just going to come onto our form, set ourselves up on the highest, on the block that goes behind our 
our shoulder blades, right in between our shoulder blades. And then lay our head gently on the block. And we're here for three minutes. We'll just settle into your supported fish pose. So take a deep breath in. Exhale it out. And here, this is a, a deep heart opener, allowing your chest to open up, your pectoral muscles, and you can experiment here with where you want to place your arms. You can open them out in a T, you can send them overhead, and allow yourself to ease gently releasing into every yin pose because the fascia responds best to slow release. So allow your body to get accustomed to the opening that is happening and allow your mind to connect with your body in that way. And you can close your eyes here. Take an inhale. And exhale, melt your chest, melt your weight into your blocks. And you can find stillness, but if you need to adjust or you want to change your leg positions, feel free to listen to your body and do whatever feels comfortable for you in order to fully release. Keep letting go of areas where you may be holding tension. And notice your heart in its full vulnerability here, opening up to the universe and allowing yourself to accept where you are, who you are, exactly the moment you're in right now, everything you are. When you're ready, slowly come off of your blocks by coming onto the forearms. And here we're slowly going to come up on our hands and just allow yourself to feel that 
that rebound happening where you're just kind of coming back into a seat. You can even start folding forward in butterfly here. And then we're going to come into cow face pose with our arms behind our backs. So we can set ourselves up in our cow face legs. So bring the right leg down on your mat and then send the left knee stacked above the right line as, as much as possible, having both sit bones rooted down into the mat. You can choose two options here. You can have a block and in front of you and you can walk your hands forward and you can fold forward here or bringing the right arm behind your back, bringing that right hand right in between the shoulder blades Take that left hand, turn it outwards, away from you, and then bring that left arm behind you, sending the, the, the left hand back up towards your right. Option here to hold the belt behind your back. And we're just going to hold this for two minutes. So allow that nice lengthening to happen. And you are also opening the chest here and you're opening the lat on the right side, the latissimus dorsi and the shoulder. You're opening both shoulders in different ways. Deep breaths. If you can hold on to your hands, please do so here. Keep lengthening the spine, sending the crown of the head up towards the sky. And send the sternum up, opening the, the pectoral muscles, the front chest, drawing the belly button in slightly and lifting up towards the sky. Thirty more seconds here. When you're ready, start releasing the arms, shaking the shoulders a little bit, maybe rolling the shoulders front, front and back, rolling. And then we're gonna switch sides. So bring the left leg down on the mat, the knee pointing forward, and then stack the right knee on top of the left. And then open up your legs towards, away from your hips making sure the right hip is still down on the mat. And, and we'll, again, we'll have our belt nearby and you can just settle it on your shoulder first before we do the arms. So send the left palm right behind, right behind between the shoulder blades. Take the right arm, the right 
palm facing away from you and then send that right arm behind you right up meeting the left hand or holding onto your belt. And we're here for two minutes. Notice how it feels. Maybe it's feeling slightly different in your arms, um, in this positioning on, on those sides compared to the other. Lengthen out of the sides of the body here, feeling both sit bones rooted down into the mat. If you find that holding the legs like this is too much for you, you can just sit in a sukhasana or one shin on top, the right, the right shin on top of the left and still do the arms. Notice the opening of the left armpit and shoulder and lat. And maybe you're feeling it in your right arm. I have a minute left. Send the sternum up, tuck the front ribs in, drawing the belly button in, keep lengthening. It's almost like you're drawing the arrow out of your bag before putting it on the bow. It's a strong pose, the way our arms are positioned. Maybe Cupid is around. <laughs> Good, so just gently releasing the arms and the belt and then slowly releasing the legs. Oh. And maybe bring your hands right behind you, behind your hips about a foot away and have your feet about hip width apart to mat width apart and just sway your knees side to side in a windshield wiping movement to allow the hips to loosen up and the, the shoulders and the chest to open up here. And what we'll do before we come into um, reverse thread the needle with our arms. I'm going to come into stillness and plant the soles of the feet about hip width apart on your mat and your hands, fingers pointing towards your hips, about a foot away from your, from your hips behind you. Inhale, press out of the mat, lifting the sternum up towards the sky, opening the front line of the body, looking up, maybe behind, and then exhale, rounding your back, drawing the belly button in, maybe bending the elbows and tucking the chin in. And then inhale again, arching the back, lifting the sternum, opening the heart. Exhale, navel into spine, curling in. And again, And we'll come back into on our bellies. So we'll, we'll work our way down on our bellies. And again, you can have your blanket nearby. Well, essentially what we'll be doing is reverse thread the needle. So we're coming onto our bellies and we're going to stretch the pectoral muscle and the front of our chest on either side leading all the way into our arms. So come onto your belly. Okay. And then extend the left arm out directly away from you, directly perpendicular to your body. And then with the right hand, press yourself onto your side. You can have a block 
underneath your head to support you here or a blank or a folded blanket and you have an option here to either stay here with the legs together stacked and extended or you can also bend the top knee and place that right foot behind your left thigh so that deepens the stretch here so if you draw your knee your right knee away opening up you'll feel that even deeper stretch in the left shoulder and pectoral muscle and all the muscles in the shoulder and so allow here if you have your head on a block it it creates a deeper support for your head but it can also feel deeper in the shoulder if you remove the block you might actually get a stretch in the neck that you might be desiring as well so just explore there with yourself and notice what feels best for you to release and allow the opening of the left side of the shoulder and chest Take a deep breath here. As you exhale, release your weight down into the mat. Relax your fingers and your jaw. And notice how you feel in your heart space. Keep melting deeper here, connecting to your breath, finding your mind coming deeper into the sensations in your body. When you're ready, slowly roll back onto your stomach. You can just slide that left arm back in towards your body and just rest here for a moment, really noticing how you're feeling in your shoulder, your left shoulder. And when you're ready, open up that right arm exactly perpendicular to you, having your block underneath your head. You can press yourself up onto your side with your left hand. Okay, you can keep the thighs stacked or you can bend that top knee here. And I'm going to wrap myself up in my blankie. Just when you're done adjusting yourself, try and find stillness and a deep, a deep breath to allow your body to release. Release, relax the weight, opening the shoulder even more. Maybe closing your eyes. giving your 
yourself a little internal smile and thanking yourself for you know noticing that this time is really precious and practicing yin yoga or any form of yoga or meditation is self-love you are allowing space for yourself to be present fully aware and present with yourself fostering mindfulness and calmness and gratitude and appreciation for our lives and when we do that we can definitely show up much more easily for other people around us and for in situations where we might be needed in all sorts of ways including profoundly challenging ways and painful ways and knowing that we're carrying this internal we're carrying this internal love this internal and eternal love Sometimes blankets can make us feel safer, cozy and wrapped like a hug. Keep letting go in your shoulder. And when you're ready, slowly roll yourself back onto your tummy, removing the block and sliding the right arm back in towards your body. And just notice how it's feeling in that rebound. You can lay your forehead onto stacked hands. And then we'll come into Sphinx. So bring your elbows beneath your shoulders. You can measure the width of your arms by, by wrapping your arms, your hands around your, your upper arms to, to make sure they're at the same width as your shoulders. And then place your palms down on your mat. So here, lengthen the sternum up towards the sky, pulling your chest forward and up. Look directly forward. Option here to have a block ready so that you can place your hand, your forehead onto the block. I'll just demonstrate here, lengthening the legs behind you, feeling the pubic bone and the pelvis and the hip bones rooted down into the mat. You can sway your hips a little side to side here just to feel that stability. And then start opening the chest, shoulders down and away from the ears. If you want deeper sphinx, you can send your arms back towards you. If you want less of a deep sphinx, you can send your elbows forward, your forearms forward to lessen the lower back bend. Deep breaths here. We'll be here for 
Another couple of minutes, allow yourself to fully let go. Relax your jaw and your eyes. few more seconds left so deepen your breath lengthening your breath here notice how you feel in your lower back leading all the way up into the chest when you're ready just allow yourself to lay back down on your forehead, removing the block, and lowering down gently and just feeling the release of the Sphinx. You can bend your knees at a 90 degree angle and you can sway your legs side to side to release the lower back really gently. slowly move into a child's pose so bring your hands underneath your shoulders pressing yourself up just allow the blanket can be underneath your chest or the bolster can be underneath the chest just like so and then open your knees mat width apart big toes to touch and then start walking your hands forward landing on your forearms you can just stay there on your forearms or you can extend your hands out on blocks and release your chest down onto your bolster or your blanket you you can have your hands directly on the mat and just allow this slow opening of the hips and feeling that nice extension of the spine. Deep belly breaths here. Send your hips back into the heels. So allow the hips to sink down into the heels as you Send your heart, melt your heart towards the earth. Lengthening the arms. And then in 
this pose, I'm going to do kind of like thread the needle or bow tie, but we're going to send our left arm underneath the right. And you can have your head here on a block or directly down on the mat. And then you can also have your right hand on a block if that feels good to you, just like this. And then here, just allow your weight to sink down once again into the mat, feeling the opening of the shoulder blade area on the left side. Feeling the upper back opening. Deep breath, feet filling all of your back up. 360 degree breath. And then exhale, release your weight down even deeper here. Relax your jaw and your eyes. Three more deep breaths here. Lengthening your exhalations. Open your mouth inside out. Oh. And slowly slide that arm back in the front. Switching sides with your block and then send that right arm underneath the left armpit for thread the needle or half bow tie on the right side. Release the weight, feeling that nice opening on the outside of the right shoulder and the shoulder blade sliding away from your spine. So protracting away from your spine. Take three nourishing breaths here. Just unbind the arm, sending both arms forward, lengthening your arms once again, really reaching, and then slowly draw your hands closer to you. Then we'll set ourselves up on our sit bones for caterpillar. In our caterpillar, you can extend the legs forward and you can have your blocks on either side of your shins to rest your arms. You can have a bolster or a blanket underneath your chest to fold forward and 
or you can hold yourself in your teddy bear arms just like that and you can allow yourself to just melt forward like so in your teddy in your teddy bear arms so I'll go into my teddy bear arms and then we'll switch sides so we'll do a minute and a half with the right arm on top of the left and then we'll go and do the left arm on top of the right giving yourself a teddy bear hug lengthen out of the sit bones so really feel your sit bones rooted down into the mat breathe into the hug here breathe into the back of the thighs and allow the weight of your upper body to slowly release closer down towards your thighs Feel that nice opening in the back. Maybe holding yourself just a little tighter in your hug. Relax the teeth and the face. Keep breathing, deepening your hug, holding your heart space comforting yourself and then we'll come back up slowly and we'll bring the left arm on top of the right for another teddy bear hug and then we'll slowly start folding forward leading with the heart Allowing yourself to melt deeper here. Cultivating self-love with every breath. Good. When you're ready, release those arms. Slowly come back up into your staff pose, noticing how good it feels to have hugged yourself for so long, right? Sometimes we just need to allow ourselves that time to ease into that love. And then we'll come into melting heart, anahatasana, the Sanskrit name for the heart chakra. So we'll take the blankets away, take the blocks, place them in front of your mat. And you have the option here. So make sure you come into tabletop, make sure the knees are below the hips, about hip width apart. You can send your forearms down on your block as you melt your heart down towards your mat, just like so. You can also have 
your elbows and the, the triceps on your block with reverse prayer hands. So having your hands in a prayer behind your head. Or you can simply just have your arms extended forward without any blocks. Like so, making sure the hips are in line with the knees. Allow your heart to melt down into the mat. Feel the top of the feet connected to your mat, grounded, pressing into the mat. Melt your heart deeper. Modify as needed. Putting your arms on blocks deepens the opening of the armpits and the chest and the shoulders. can also have support underneath your chest if you end up needing that or desiring that. Deep breaths. When you're ready, you can slowly remove the blocks, come back on your forearms. You can remove the blanket and just sit your hips back into your heels in a easy child's pose. Knees together, arms along your sides, palms facing up, forehead on the mat, if it reaches the mat, you can also have your forehead on a block. Deep breath into the lower back. And then exhale, release the shoulders. So allow the shoulders to roll down towards the mat with gravity here.
ready, press yourself back up. And finding yourself in your final Shavasana. So let's come on to our sit bones first, grabbing our blankets, wrapping ourselves up and fully extending on our backs here. Nice, beautiful release here. Getting comfy, allowing yourself to fully let go, opening the legs as wide as feels comfortable for you and the arms can be overhead or along your sides. Lift the shoulders off of the mat, slide the shoulder blades down your back and then release the shoulders back down on your mat. Take a deep breath here. Open your mouth and sigh it out. Again. Breathing in all the gratitude, all the love right into your heart space. Exhaling it all out. Relaxing your face, your ears, your scalp, shoulders. Allow your skin to just melt down in your mat along with your arms and your pelvis, your sit bones your thighs, your calves, the heels melting into the mat. Notice your breath, the gentle rise and fall of your belly. The comfort in your chest in your shoulders, the opening that you created with your body today. So, mahalo nui loa. Thank you so much for joining me in your practice. Sending you love and light. Namaste.